Hi guys. Uh, today we are going to continue to move forward talking about uh, kind of more localized government. This time we're going to talk about uh, state governments with our state, Kansas, as an emphasis in that. Uh, and so the state government guys, first of all, let's talk a little bit about our representation, um, who represents our state um, in the U.S. Congress. Uh, so in the U.S. Congress, so the national legislature, uh, we are represented by Senators Pat Roberts and Jerry Moran. Uh, in the House, we are represented by Roger Marshall, Steve Watkins, Shanae Davids, and Ron Estes. And Roger Marshall is our representative. He is uh, the represented from the first district of Kansas. That is our voting district uh, in Kansas. Remember guys, we call it Big Red One. Okay. As far as our state government goes, who represents us right now in our local state government? Um, first of all guys, this state government, uh, to give you kind of a lowdown, it's, it's very similar to what we've been talking about with the national government. That's why we haven't spent a whole lot of time on it is it's modeled you know after basically all states model their state governments just about after uh, our u.s government uh, the national government so uh, you have an executive just like you would the national government they're they're the president in state governments we call the executive a governor um, you also have a legislative branch right a legislature uh, and so this would be in the form for us of state senators and representatives at the state level. And you also have a judiciary. Uh, and so that would be like the Supreme Court and all the other um, lesser courts. So this is, for us, the Kansas Supreme Court. Okay. And then obviously the, all the other lesser courts as well. So remember, guys, um, our judiciary system is a dual court system so two court system basically um, you have the national and the state courts and so it's the same situation where you have the Kansas Supreme Court but we also have um, Kansas Court of Appeals you know you have the county courts and things like that so those are all under state legislation or a state jurisdiction I should say so um, <clears throat> That's the judiciary for us. Now, in our state right now, we are represented at the state level by John Dahl. He is a Kansas State Senator. Um, and then we are also represented by Marty Long in the Kansas House of Representatives. Laura Kelly, I'm sure many of you are aware by now, is our current governor. Um, so she's been doing basically at least on the weekdays, daily um, kind of updates on the situation with, with the coronavirus. So she's been very public as of late uh, in the public eye uh, by making those. Um, <clears throat> so she is currently our, our governor, the governor of Kansas. Now, the roles of the state government guys, they're very similar for the most part, once again, which makes sense that we said they're modeled after the national government. It's very similar to that of the national government, the U.S. government. Uh, so a state government should follow the law. Uh, they should keep the peace, right? Uh, basically meaning, um, you know, in the U.S. government, you know, the preamble of the Constitution references domestic tranquility. That's keeping the peace, right? So um, <clears throat> defend the country. Uh, so we have state national guard and and things like that. Um, we have the Kansas, basically Kansas militia. Um, so that's part of protecting the country, uh, and then also promote the general welfare of citizens uh, of all citizens. Um, so that is you know basically. Um, taking care of your people uh, to a reasonable level, right? So obviously people have to take care of themselves, but uh, taking care of your people to a reasonable level. And then guys, also uh, what the state governments focus on providing 
the biggest one is education. That's where there's an exclamation point there. Education is one of the biggest jobs of the state. It's um, in all states, the biggest expenditures go into education, um, which as a teacher, as I think as it should. Um, and so this is very big. Remember guys, they get to dictate what's taught in their states. They get to set the standards uh, and all that. Um, and you know, we said there's a battle with this a little bit because the U.S. government can say, well, you, should, you need to do this or we're not going to give you federal funding. Uh, the states don't have to do it, but usually they want the funding. So uh, there is some say from the national government, obviously, but uh, it's supposed to boil down to the states having all the say with how education works in their state. Uh, they also focus on providing for the public welfare. So Medicaid and, and welfare, unemployment, so that's been a big thing also with the coronavirus, right, is the unemployment um, that the state is providing, so Medicaid, like health care for people that can't afford it. Uh, and then you have public safety, like we talked about, guys, like we were focusing on a couple weeks ago. Um, so police, providing police forces, um, prisons to incarcerate people. Uh, and then another big focus for many states is highways, uh, maintaining highways, uh, setting speed limits. They get to decide the speed limit. Uh, driver's license, who gets a driver's license, who, who can be issued a driver's license, uh, and all that. Uh, they get to decide the process for that. Uh, and then finally, guys, vehicle inspections. So that's an important thing that they do as well. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you again soon. I Look forward to hearing from you guys on our Google Hangouts. Have a good one.